Networking. It's something that we've all heard of, but what is it exactly? And why is it important? I'm Lily from teleprompter.com, and I'm excited to explore networking with you today. They say it's not what you know, but who you know that's most important, which is exactly what networking is all about. Networking is about building relationships and connections with people often in your industry or niche, but it doesn't have to be limited just to that. By developing relationships with people that have similar interests to you, you are building your personal community. You have individuals that you can reach out to for guidance, that might want to share opportunities with you, or perhaps even wish to collaborate down the line. I remember once finding a training that I thought was really interesting online. I looked at one of the trainers, read her bio, and thought, that's an awesome person. I wanna to get to know her better. Her email was there, so I sent her an email, I explained, introduced myself, and she responded saying she'd love to meet for a coffee. Fast forward, one year down the line, I actually got a small piece of work from this person because of a random email that I wanted to send to connect with someone that I thought was cool. It's stories just like this that show how networking can help create opportunities. When you map out all of the individuals that you've ever met, if you could picture them all standing in front of you in one room, I'm sure there would be people there who would want to sit down on a podcast with you, who would be happy to read through an ebook that you just made, or who would have some other opportunity that you might be able to connect with. So networking is a way to map out relationships and find ways to support each other. And that's another key element of networking, reciprocity. It's not just about taking, it's also about giving. You can use different networks like LinkedIn or even email lists in order to stay in touch with your networks. You can share knowledge, you can share resources, and this is a way that you can also build your own credibility and give back so that in the future, if you do ask to maybe have someone share an opportunity for you, they feel like it's a two-way street. So another thing to think about when you're engaging in networking and building the people in your community is consistency. People don't just meet you once and then remember you five years down the line. You might think about different actions you can take to remain in people's minds and to remain connected. You might follow someone on LinkedIn, you might have a newsletter that you send out, or you might just send someone a message periodically in order to meet up for a coffee. I do that with the friend that I mentioned earlier who I sent that cold email to. Every couple of months, we'll check in, see how we're doing and stay up to date. Often, people think networking is just for those who are extroverted and are happy to put themselves out there, but actually, there are ways to make networking work for you. Researching in areas that you're interested, attending events online or in person. When it comes to networking, it's about putting yourself out there, making new connections, and nurturing those relationships. I hope you can see now that networking can provide a wealth of opportunities for you. And if you'd like to learn more of this type of content, make sure to like, to follow, and subscribe to this channel.